All right, so there I am watching YouTube as I normally try to find myself. And uh, I'm watching Ironhead. You know. Hello, this is Ironhead41. You know that guy. So uh, he's making, uh, well, he won't tell us what he's making. So he starts this video off and he's he's got a big water carboy and uh, he's adding water and peaches and you know it's this big mystery but right above it right above the video it says how to make wine so you know that catches my attention right off the bat so uh, I'm thinking peaches wine man I've already canned a bunch of peaches so uh, you know I don't have any I'm out so I've got to come up with some peaches so lo and beho behold that evening my dad calls me and says hey you want some peaches? Okay. So uh, he gives me a big basket, like 20 pounds, 25 pounds of peaches. And I'm thinking, boy, this is great. I'm going to make some wine uh, on Ironhead's recipe. So guess what? Wine. So I uh, made this this morning. Uh, I didn't have a condom. So I used, well, I had a condom, but I used a... Uh, uh, an old uh, air trap that I had from, uh, I don't know if you can see this, an old air trap I had from back when I used to brew beer. But, uh, so anyways, that's uh, per Ironhead's uh, recipe, three and a half, three pounds of actual fruit, uh, a whole bunch of water, eight cups of sugar, a pack of, uh, of yeast, and uh, Boy, it looks good. I can't wait. And uh, he says that when the fruit, which is, I don't know if you can see, the fruit is floating all along the top here. I added the sugar after the fruit, and the fruit was on the bottom. So I guess when I added the sugar water, that changed the specific gravity of the water and caused the fruit to, uh, to float. So when it becomes alcohol, it makes sense that that the fruit's gonna gonna sink to the bottom. So I'm gonna cover this up with a an old sweatshirt, uh, and hopefully it'll start bubbling in the next couple of days. And uh, and in 30 to 40 days, hopefully we'll have some wine. I can't wait. Uh, thanks, Ironhead. I appreciate it.